Today's show is sponsored by Matific. This week, February 14th through 20th, is the warm-up for the free fun Matific games. Register at coolcatteacher.com forward slash math and stay tuned at the end of the show for more information on Matific. Today on episode 252, we are talking to remarkable teenager Natalie Hampton about the Sit With Me app, how kids are fighting bullying one lunch table at a time. The 10 Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. Today we have with us Natalie Hampton, a 17-year-old who is changing the world. She's not wasting those many days at the lunch table she's spent alone, but she's using it to help others who are struggling. She was recently named one of 25 women changing the world by People Magazine and has won lots of other recognition with her Sit With Us app. Natalie, what is the experience that led to the creation of this app? Well, it wasn't exactly one experience. It was kind of over the course of two years. I was in a school community where I was being really badly bullied and I was physically attacked four separate times. I was verbally bullied. And on top of that, I ate lunch alone every day. And it was so embarrassing and isolating, that experience of sitting alone. And so once I was able to transfer to a school in a much nicer community, that experience really stuck with me. And so I started inviting kids over to my table that I saw sitting alone and they became my closest friends. And so I realized how that small act of kindness did so much for both of us. And so that's why I wanted to really do something about it. So what does your app do? It's called Sit With Us, and it's a free lunch planning app. And basically, it helps kids find allies in their schools. So you sign up like any social media site. You create a profile page, add a list of interests, a bio, and add friends. And then from there, if you choose to be an ambassador, which means you want to kind of add on the anti-bullying aspect, you sign a pledge saying that anyone, if they try to join your table, they will be welcome. And from there, you plan lunches. So you say, my name is this, I'm sitting here at this time. And then that's viewable to anyone in your school. And so if you're a kid who's bullied or lonely, you open the app, you sign up with your school, and you're given a full list of all the tables where you could join and you would be welcome. Wow. How many ambassadors do you have? Well, we have over 100,000 users and we're in eight different countries and we're continuing to spread every day. Have all of those kids signed up to be an ambassador? Or how many have said anybody who wants to sit at my table is welcome? We don't have the exact numbers on ambassadors, but if you go through and look at the app, there is an overwhelming amount of ambassadors, which is not something I expected at all. I thought this would just be like a lunch planning app for kids, but there are so many out there who really want to make a change and want to help stop bullying. So think about the stories and the emails that you're getting from people. What's one that really touches you? And of course, you don't have to say their name, but is there one that stands out that reminds you, okay, this is why I'm doing this? Yeah, I'm a high school senior. Classes are crazy and college applications and everything. And so on top of that, having a full time job and traveling can be really tough. But whenever we get messages through our social media channels, it really reminds me that what I'm doing is really rewarding and it makes it all worth it. And one of those that I got is from this girl. Um, She lives in Texas and she was starting at a new gigantic public school and her mom saw an article for sit with us and printed it out and handed it to her and she was really confused because she thought she was the new girl why would she be the one being the ambassador but she decided to try it anyway brought it to her school and within the first week she had a huge group of friends that she met through the app and then um, she's gone on to create a sit with us club and so now She's a club leader, so she has a leadership position at her new school. She's loving her classes, and she has a whole friend group that she met through it as well. And so I think that's really what we were going for is to help kids find allies in their school. Oh, I love that. Does that just, 
I mean, here, think about it. Natalie, instead of just taking that experience you had and just internalizing it and getting bitter, you're actually helping kids who have the same problem around the world. How does that feel to you? Well, I felt like if I didn't do anything to speak out against bullying, I was just as bad as all the people who saw me being attacked and said nothing. It was something that was so important to me and affected me so greatly that I couldn't just sit there and not do anything. It was really something that I felt like I had to do. And I thought with all this work, even if I only help one person, then it will have been worth it. Natalie, I'm a teacher and you're talking to teachers. What can teachers do to help? Because I know, you know, sometimes in bullying, teachers can make things worse, but that's still no excuse. You know, if I see it, I'm going to I'm going to deal it with it. I'm going to address it. I'm going to talk to the kid who's sitting alone and see what I can do as a teacher. But what's your word as a teenager to teachers like me? Yeah, so at my old school, my pretty much only ally and friend was my visual art teacher. We all had to kind of sit in one cohesive area. And so when you're sitting alone, it was incredibly embarrassing because you were kind of labeled as the outcast. The only person that I had to talk to was my art teacher, and she would leave her classroom unlocked for me during the day so I could go in there and sit by myself and didn't have to see everyone else. And while that's not a solution, she was the only one who really saw me sitting alone and would reach out and talk to me. So being aware is the first step in anything. And she really saved me from so much suffering just by reaching out in the littlest way that she could. And then on top of that, I think what's really important is to inspire the students. I thought that what I'm doing now would be completely impossible, but with the guidance of my teachers and them believing in me, it's really helped me go far. And I really think that students have so much power. They just need the adults around them to tell them that. And so as a teacher, if you can be supportive and help them reach their dreams that they want to do, whatever project they're thinking of, that is going to be incredible. So Natalie, do you have any teachers that are working with you now that you want to give a shout out to and thank? Yes, of course. My history teacher, who is my absolute favorite teacher, is our club sponsor, and he's helping us run the club at my school, and we really couldn't do it without him. So shout out to Teddy. (laughs) He's my favorite teacher, and I'm in his government class right now, and there's nowhere else I'd rather be. So how has he helped you in inspiring you to pursue this? Yeah, well, when I came up with the idea, I was 15 and had no idea what I was doing, didn't know how to code and somehow wanted to create a global app. And um, at first, it was really my parents that helped me run with it. And then on top of that, it was my teachers. I talked to them and I said, would you be interested in helping me do this? And so we started our first club at my own school. And once it grew from there, we spread to other schools. And so it really started with that foundation at my school that helped me bring it to other schools. Wow. So we have learned so much about the sit with this app. So it's an app. It sounds like it's a club. It also is a movement. And I love this idea when you're new at a school to think, you know what, it's about helping others because you may go to that school and there may be a lot of people who who are alone and who want to sit with others. Uh, I think this is a great app to talk about with our students and to share, but also to know teachers. There are times when I have students that, that I work with and, and they're sitting by themselves and I do make my room an open, safe place that they can come to any time that they want to. And of course, uh, those of you who've been listening to the show for a while, you know that I had four years of my life where I was that kid who was alone, where I was that kid who was picked last, where I was that kid who was told that I was worthless and nobody would ever love. And if it hadn't been for my parents and eventually some teachers when I got older who really helped me see my worth as well as my own Christian faith, then that... You know, how can you overcome that? There's so many gifted, amazing children who who's experienced this and one is too many. So take a look at the Sit With Us app, share it with your kids and let's continue the fight against bullying. This past week, I wrote about Matific on my blog at coolcatteacher.com forward slash Matific. This site is full of free math manipulatives that are standards aligned. So students learn math by using the manipulatives. And those who've taught math know just how powerful manipulatives can be, but they can be a mess. Well, 
You can play these on the iPad, the computer, the Chromebook, and each student can have their own customized playlist of the standards they need to meet, and it can even be in their language. The Matific Games will be running from February 21st through 28th, but right now, February 14th through 20th, 2018, is the warm-up practice week. That means you can still sign up to participate at coolkiteteacher.com forward slash math. They'll get you and your class set up in 24 hours. So if you're a K through six classroom and you need some fun, free math practice, sign up for Matific. Thank you for listening to the 10 Minute Teacher Podcast. You can download the show notes and see the archive at coolcatteacher.com forward slash podcast. Never stop learning.